I'm on my desktop in Photoshop CS5 and I want to make a simple geometric design. So I'm going to open a new file. Oh, let's see, I want it to fit into this recording window. So I'm going to make it a little bit smaller than our standard uh, 600 by 800. I'm going to do 400. Okay. And then I'm just going to stretch it out so that we can see it in the composition in the, in the recording window, yet still see all the tools. Okay, so if I wanted to make a simple monochromatic design, I want to first think about my color and what color do I want? And I can actually, a good way to choose a color is to choose it by you in the HSB mode because then I can maintain a consistent color. I'm going to put my saturation up here so I really see my color. Let's see, let's go to Oh, 15, let's see, 15 makes it the perfect red-orange. So now I have red-orange. And I want to think about my background first. So I'm going to fill my background color. And I can either choose it by modifying my saturation and brightness sliders or click on this and this window here. And I can choose, say, uh, something that's a little bit more neutral but still has a feeling of the color, like a nice warm gray. Okay. And I'm going to use my paint bucket and notice my saturation or my opacity here. If I wanted it 100%, that's pretty dark. But I can actually reduce the opacity down and get, say, just a close to 50% here. It's a lighter, more transparent color, but it's still within my monochromatic range. Okay, so the next thing I want to do is choose some shape. So I'm going to use a geometric shape, and now I'm just going to modify my color using the slider. So I want to make some neutral shapes in the background, and I want to think about, um, you know, engaging the edges of the composition, perhaps. Uh, uh, let me make that just a little bit more uh, neutral, uh, so that they feel like these shapes are going off the composition. And I'm going to draw a few coming in this direction. As we move forward, maybe I can increase the brightness just a little bit to give a sense of richness of the color as it moves forward. And I want that to be a little bit longer. Okay, a little bit brighter here. And a little bit brighter here. And I'm actually marching across the composition here as I go. So making this one wider, and no, that'll work. Okay, so now I have a, a, a couple of uh, movement uh, elements that are moving the, the eye through the composition. And if I want to make this one, I have to use, if I want to delete something, Command-Alt-Z at the same time, right? Command-Z will bring those two back. I just want to get rid of this one, so Command-Alt-Z. I want to make that one just a little bit more narrow. Okay, and now what I want to do is make a few of these uh, getting a little bit darker in value march off in this direction. Let's see. Move it in this direction, making these shades a little bit darker, as if they're going back into space a little bit more. So, and then I can also think about placing some elements that cross things in the foreground, right? Uh, and make a few, I mean, these, these shapes are now starting to come forward in, in the foreground as, I, as they're richer, more vivid in tone, right? The same thing starts to happen. So I'm just really playing with simple geometric shape and producing a composition that is, car will carry the eye forward. I want to make this one more vivid. Okay. Okay. And let that one, no, I don't like it touching the edge there. I, it either has to cross over all of them or not. So there we go. Now I have some movement in this direction and I can start making some, maybe some squares. If I hold my shift key down, I'll get some squares and I am using repetition and, um, color to move the eye through the composition. I can reduce the shade down a little bit, make it a little bit darker as it goes off into space. Uh, again, moving the eye through the composition. So essentially I am allowing shapes to go off the page and crop, be cropped so that uh, I'm engaging the edges of the composition and moving the eye through space. And I have a very simple composition coming into play here with lots of shapes moving the eye around. So that's how you, you produce a simple geometric composition. You continue to modify saturation and brightness of the color for contrast.